I'm, I'm sorry. Your Honor, uh, Mr. Chandler is very emotional at the moment. No disrespect to the court is intended. If Mr. Chandler wants to address the court, I'll allow it. Thank you. I'm not a good man. I don't ever remember having been one. Um, I'd much rather be putting together a fortune than, than helping somebody in my own family. And my brother, on the other hand, who's one of the finest human beings ever to set foot on this earth. I took his life. I just took it. I, I know I should be punished for what I've done, but I'm not going to prison. The justice has still been served, and I will still do my time in my own purgatory. Not to mention that that I took the life of my own dear, sweet brother is the hell that will visit me every day of my life. Every day of my life. I... Thank you for your candor, Mr. Chandler. Court is adjourned. I think Stu would be happy with what just went down a bit. Um, I hope so. I mean, there is definitely something to what Adam said, having to live with what he did. Everybody loses in this one, huh? Wow. Very sad. Come on, let's go. Let's go. There it is, a not guilty verdict despite Adam Chandler's confession of guilt and an impassioned speech by the defendant himself declaring that the events of that night will haunt him forever. This has been Nancy Meyer reporting live from outside... You are being paid to carry bags up to rooms, not to watch TV. Actually, my shift just ended. Well, then you should have clocked out and gone home. Mr. Slater doesn't like employees, especially underage employees, hanging out at the bar. Okay, got the message. You've taken your eye off the ball. What are you, what are you talking about, sir? My company. Cambius, you've mismanaged it. Okay, well, first of all, it's uh, my company, Cambius, and it's doing just fine. But it's not. It's stagnating. It's sl slowly moving towards Chapter 11. Is that what you wanted? To take my company and destroy it? You know what's amazing to me is that you can so easily write off Kendall and yet be so upset about a business deal where I got the better. Why, well, you stole the company from me. And you think that Aiden stole your wife? Careful. Is this where you start throwing out threats, Zach? No, this is what I make a promise to you. You're not going to like how this ends. Well, both of you did a very impressive job. Thank you. We still have to get Annie acquitted. Well, I'm sure that will go successfully as well. I love you, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> Mom, you're the best. Come on, let's go home. Okay. Nice job. Everyone's happy. Adam's confident that you can take care of anything and everything. Well, he is certainly confident, but it's not about my lawyering ability. Mr. Chandler, Mr. Chandler, please, just a few words. Thank you. Mr. Chandler, how do you feel after the verdict? What are your plans now? And how do you get past what you've done? Oh, sometimes you don't get past what you've done. <laughs> But uh, with uh, my family and their support and their love, we'll get through this together. Okay. Thank you. We're almost there, Adam. We'll all be a family again. Soon.